Kevin Owens lasts even two minutes <coughs> in his match against Goldberg. Dan? Even one and a half minutes. Even one and a half minutes. Dan, what are you going to do? <laughs> I am uh, going to down a... Uh, I would say a shot. It's got to be a shot. About a 25 mil, mil shot. Of, of homemade hot sauce. Of homemade hot sauce. Of homemade hot sauce. Of homemade hot sauce. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening. Um, I don't know how well this is coming out. Let's just have a look. Ah, it's, not coming, it's coming out not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> We're all good. We're all good. How is how is you today? Oh, I'm I'm fine. Yep. I've had a day off work, so I'm fantastic actually. Yeah, yeah same. Thing. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. I've had a day off work as well. I've got another two days off, so I'm even better. Yeah, no, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how, how did you like that intro? <laughs> Sir, you are sometimes you know no bounds. <laughs> it made me chuckle anyway. Yeah, yeah, I hope you made it. Oh, made hot sauce. <laughs> I was trying to get it to, to zoom in, but that's the best I could do on that one. Um, I don't think I did made, too bad. Made me chuckle. Yeah. Um, Right, so we're here for post fast lane. Uh, what did you think of the of the pay per view in total? It was it, 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 all right. It's going to be a word for me this evening. All right. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Hang on, let me just. Uh, I'm going to shift you over there. Hang on. Oh, balls, balls and L. That one there. You there? There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I say I can't really complain on it. Um, well, I can, but I'm not going. Oh, I will. In oh, I know, you, I know you will. But, um, <coughs> I say the it, it was a lot better than previous fast lanes. I think is that if that's the best term. It was better than last year's fast lane for sure. I think anything was better than fast, last year's fast lane. <laughs> um, um, yeah. yeah um, so we're, we're going to do this in the. Um, can try and do it in the order that it ha as it happened. I haven't actually rewritten it from last time, <laughs> so. Uh, but the first match was. Sami Zayn and Samoa Joe. It was. Which we got right, which was a yeah. change. Um, it was a good match, I think. Yeah, I, I think I was um, expecting it to be done in a slightly different way to what it was but yeah. 
Um, overall, it was all right. Mm. I, I, they did what we wanted them to do anyway. Yeah, definitely. Which, which was make Samoa out to be what we wanted to be. Um, I, I don't know. The wrestling was a bit scrappy. It was. Did you yeah. think so? I, I, yeah, it's, I it's so, I, and it was a bit like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I expected um, a lot more fast-paced action to um, to have come between them two. Yeah. Um, obviously, I know you've got Samoa Joe who's got got the weight advantage and the power advantage, but he's also he has got the speed, and there and uh, Sami Zayn has always had speed, and it just wasn't it wasn't as a flop, high fly impact match. I thought it was going to be. No, I mean it had some it had some nice bits, the insecurity in the corners, you know, one of Samoa's signatures. Uh, that stuff was all was all fine. There was there was a one big botch, and I can't. There was there was something at the time I watched it and I went, oh God, yeah. Paul's Sammy's stomach. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but we we were right on the winner. We were. Uh, I did have a we did have a strange feeling that Samoa was going to win that. Um, right. So um, that's a tick on that one. Um, next. But I say we can't really say anything else on on that match, really. No, there's nothing. As I really, say but, next, it's a bit. Yeah. It was it was, it was all right as a start up match. Yeah. You put so, it anywhere something else. To war, good something God. to warm the crowd up with. Yeah. If if they put it anywhere else, if they put it in like the last four. Yeah. Then it, I wouldn't be saying no. the same. Uh, what was the next match? What was, the, uh, what was the next match? <laughs> next match was... It wasn't the Cruiserweight, was it? Uh, I can't remember. Are you are you searching for me? I'm, I'm going to search for you, okay? <laughs> we can edit this out in the YouTube, because most people watch this on YouTube anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next match... Was if my flipping thing will stop for a minute. Uh, women, uh, no, wrong way round. <laughs> uh, it was a tag team match. Sorry, raw tag team match. It was a raw. Yes, you are right. Uh, yeah, Gallows and Anderson against Enzo and Cass. That was another yep. one. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. It was better than the first match, well, in yeah. my opinion. I, I thought it was better than the first. Um, it had a bit. Sometimes with tag teams, right, it, it get it, it's a bit better because you get these very fast-paced bits where all four of them get involved in some sort of way, yeah. and, it, and it's back and forth, back and forth. I say and, where the referee just sort of goes, oh fuck, I can't do fuck all about this bit. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of it's kind of like bang, bang, bang. There, there was a couple of bits in there that made you do that, but overall it was an average match. Yeah, um, um, I say we were right on that one as well. We obviously we wanted Enzo and Cass to win, but. Uh, Obviously, Gallows and Anderson managed to cheat their way out of it. Yeah, I, I think, I think what I think what I said was I wanted them Enzo and Cass to win. Yeah. But if they didn't, they've got to do something with them at WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. So I think they will do. I think I, I don't. They definitely uh, revoke their rematch clause. I think for Mania, they won't, that won't be a, a Raw thing. It no, wasn't no, no, no. It definitely wasn't last night anyway. No. Um, I didn't actually watch last night, so I didn't get a chance today to watch last night. But I did catch little bits. Um, I, I've, I've caught some clips. Yes. Some um, clips. The next match was Sasha and Nia Jax, wasn't it? Correct, Amundo. Yes. What a match that was. Ah. Uh, yeah, it was also a fuck up as well. Did you hear uh, that? I, I have, but you, you tell the world. Uh, that the fact that Nia Jax was actually supposed to win that match. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, the original plan was uh, Sasha was going to get her up into that roll up as she did with with the crab sort of thing, and she was supposed to hold the rope, and the referee was supposed to uh, have seen that, but she couldn't quite reach the rope, so he ended up counting the three. <laughs> so Nia wasn't even supposed to uh, lose at all. No, uh, which completely uh, bugger because we were right. Yeah, <laughs> and now we're not right because of some fucking bodge job. Yeah. Um. Uh, overall, though, what what did you think of the actual match itself? I think it was a good match. I definitely think um, Sasha held her own against Nia. I mean, she got absolutely obliterated in the first half of the match. Oh yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I was like, I thought, oh bloody hell, are they really going to make it that one-sided to yeah. start with? It's, it's a bit um, like, oh. But um, no, it, it, it was a good match. Uh, I think it would have made sense if the botch never happened, if Dyer had actually won. But yeah, it, 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 it was. It was what we said, though. It was one of them roll-up pins, catch yeah. by surprise. We did say that, but obviously that wasn't supposed to happen. So it kind of. Yeah. In in <laughs> fact, if, if you watched it the second time. Yeah. Because if you watch it the second time, listen to the commentary when it <laughs> when I, the three goes, and the I don't know if they I I didn't even bother trying to see if you can see them, but I bet they're like scrambling a paper up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say you, you could tell there was uh, there was something wrong as well because of Naya's reaction. Mm. I mean, yeah, obviously she she lost and things like that, but obviously she wasn't supposed to lose. No. I could see she was having an argument with the ref at the time as well. Yes. <laughs> It's like, hang on a fucking minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, it's the Canadian screw job all over again. Yeah. Uh, so at the moment, we are three for three. Unfortunately. We are three for three. Well. Well, sort of. Are we? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, next match is a cruiserweight match. Mm. Uh, Neville versus Jack Gallagher. Um, mm-hmm. See, Neville retained. Mm-hmm. Which we said he would. Mm-hmm. It was a good match. I was quite impressed with that match. <laughs> I thought at one point, hang on a fucking minute, is Gallagher all in this? Yeah, I loved the fact how it went when he got whipped into the turnbuckle, when he just sort of went upside down and just stood there. And go, <laughs> yes, <laughs> he 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 is a very entertaining guy. Mm. And say, as it turns out, can wrestle. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely. pretty good mm. in the ring. He is a good in ring performer. Um, and it's I know the headbutts. Right, I wanted to talk about oh. the headbutts because I, I I struggled to see where they were getting the slap from. Whether they were yeah. getting the slap from a, a hit with the with the palm of hand or whatever. But the fact I couldn't see it watching it the first time round, especially yeah, especially that one. On the turnbuckle. God, the sound. The sound of that. I mean. And don't get me wrong. I know it wasn't their heads connecting. No, but I mean, I mean, obviously, I know, I know when the Rock does it, he slaps his thighs. Yes. But you, you couldn't, you didn't see that. No. All you see is Jack so Gallagher run up good. on the turnbuckle, head by him, and it's just, just a mighty clap. <laughs> there, there was um, it, it was good camera work, and um, it, yeah. it was it was well executed by them too. But it is. So I liked Jack Gallagher because of what he did in Royal Rumble briefly. Briefly before he now I now I'm actually starting to like the man more because mm-hmm. I've seen him in a fully fledged fifteen to twenty minute match. Yeah. Hold his own. Some really nice stuff between the two of them. Mm-hmm. And I think it was, I messaged you last night. Yeah. And I said I don't know. I can't remember what you said now. Oh, unbelievable! <laughs> that was my favourite match of the night. You did, yes. Sorry, yes, you did. That was my favourite match of the night, mm. and that's the first time I've ever. I say had that. A yeah, cruise away as my favourite match. It's, it's, of the it's been a while since you've actually sent us that. Sent us a message saying that as well. I don't think I ever have said it. No, I'm not sure. But no, that was a very good match, and, and, and funny enough, Dan, we're four for four. We are four for four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we come to Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Mm. Right. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you take the floor on this one. Right. Ma- match itself. Matches. Yes. Was a good match. Mm-hmm. Right. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Vince! <laughs> you are driving me crackers. <laughs> oh my god! Um, just uh, why? Just it give, oh, just give it us didn't. A minute, um, uh, yeah, yeah go on. No, you, right. you do what uh, you like. No, no, I'm no. Gonna... I say like, you, you, you sit there and rant. I'm just going to. Um, it's it's a it's a little quiet. I'm going to put some something to my voice. Something in the background at the moment. Hang on. Um, where's me? Uh, what I think of 
copyright laws in. <laughs> anyway, I continued. What a load of grrr. So, what a, what a load of grrr. Well, the whole the whole match was it was a good match, but Braun, the way they were intending it, Braun should have bloody just won it. Yeah. Don't don't try and make a screwball ending out of it with a couple of spears. It just it it didn't feel right for me that that was the ending. If no. Roman had dominated a bit more in the actual match itself, then fine. But uh, yeah. Vince just loves him too much. He does. Um, this is what's annoying me um, about this sort of thing. Um, and, and Braun's promo was the best promo of the night. Yeah. The was. match, the, the promo for that match was a really good, it reminded me of Attitude Era levels of promo. Thank you. Um, just turn it down a little bit. Um, yeah, it did. I mean, it, it was. I really did expect. Um, Ron to throw him into that turnbuckle again and for it to break again because yeah, uh, he literally that, that, had some it was so so much force in and so much power in that whole mm, match mm. and then it just sort of drifts away and he gets there, there was he gets, nothing he gets a second spear and that's it there was nothing to justify the whole turnbuckle break a few nights previous yeah, exactly um, it's a bit, a bit, uh, but we have um, it has led us on to last night on Raw that is true um, where um, Roman was in the ring and he has an appearance from Taker yep. um, and um, he said to Taker it's now my yard Mm-hmm. That's not a good thing to say to Taker. No. So, but Taker, but Taker, our rumours have been confirmed. Yes. Uh, so Taker looks at WrestleMania sign. Roman looks at WrestleMania sign, then gets choked, land flat on his face. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's obviously gonna, it's obviously going to be Taker and Roman at Mania, which is going to be good. Yes. Please, Vince, don't let but, Roman but. win. This will be. This is the last time if he, now. If he I'm lets, going to say it. Yeah. If he lets Roman win against Taker at Mania, I am. I'm just. Anything that comes up with Roman Reigns, I'm not even going to fucking look at. You know what our friend Dan said to what me the other week? What did he say? He said if he said if Roman uh, wins against Taker at Mania, he's cancelling his network subscription. Fair <laughs> dudes. It cannot happen. It cannot. It will not. It is disrespectful in so many different ways. Thank you. And it's an F you to the universe if you do it. Exactly. So you do it, and I'll fucking come over there to America and sort you all out myself. <laughs> um, so we got that one wrong. Mm. So we're four for one. Um, four for one. We've got a little match. Yes. Match. Uh, yes. Bailey versus Charlotte. Another good yes. match. It was a good match. Um, ended up the way we wanted it to. Uh, yeah. Bailey has um, shut down Charlotte's pay per view streak with a little help from Sasha. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not liking this idea. I think it's it's all. I think obviously what they're trying to do is obviously because obviously Charlotte's had um, Dana sorting things out for her. I think they're they're trying to sort of wheel that onto Bailey now. Yeah, and they're trying to do the whole hypocrite thing with Charlotte, which yeah. that makes perfect sense because you could guarantee she'd be a hypocrite at some point. Yeah. But is it is it ruining a bit of cre- uh, Bailey's credibility a little bit by putting her into this? Yeah. It's, it's, um, would this more have been a, you know, a, a Naya thing to do or a Alexa Bliss thing to do rather than Bailey? Yeah, I mean, I mean, ba- Bailey has always been the uh, the goody two shoes, really. Of, of, she's been of, the of, Sami Zayn of the women's world. Yeah, well, I say she's always she's always been that way, even with the four horsewomen. Mm. Um, and um, but I mean. She's going into, it happened. She, yeah, it happened. I mean, she's going into Mania now as champion. Yeah. So, um, 
I do hope happens. it's not against Charlotte. No, please. Oh, God, please. No, because she's evoked her rematch oh, clause now. She's already done it, isn't she? Yeah. Give someone else a chance. I want to see another match. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see another woman. It's fine. It will all be fine. Yeah. We're five for five. Uh, five for one, sorry. Five, five for one because of five Roman Reigns. Because of Roman Reigns. Right. Universal title match. Oh no, hang on, mm. sorry, no, hang on. We had two we had two extra matches. We did. Should we, we did. do those now? Because we now. didn't predict any of these because no, we, we didn't, didn't know they were happening. No. Uh, these were the last minute matches uh, that were made by um Monsieur Mick Foley. Right, last minute. Monsieur Foley. Um Jinder Mahal versus Cesaro was the first one. So obviously Jinder Mahal and Rusev have now split up. Them two started mm. fighting in the middle of the ring. Uh Mick Foley said, I've got opponents for each of you, but I'm not telling you who they are. Uh, them two start fighting in the rear ring. Next minute, Cesaro's music hits, he's facing Jinder Mahal. Basically, kick Jinder's fucking ass, basically. Yep. Um, and Cesaro won that, so I can't really say much more about that. No, it, it's. I must be honest, Those between those two matches, I looked at my phone a little bit. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I think I was on Facebook it, for most of that. It was definitely um, it was definitely time filler yeah. for the whole paper, uh, yeah. and it, it definitely showed to be that. Even the crowd weren't really with it. Well, exactly. uh, especially, uh, especially as should we go after, get a beer now? Because I've run out. After um, after Cesaro won, then Russo came back in the ring, started beating up Ginger again, and then Big Show came out. So yeah. sort of two matches merged into one, merged and into one. it just sort of yeah. and Big the, Show the came only out thing... and kicked his ass. The only thing I would say is that the Cesaro match I looked at my phone at a lot more. Yeah. But the I, I Big Show I... match, actually I didn't I quite liked it. Because Big Show's spent, as we all know, so much time in the gym recently. Well he's, he's less than four hundred pounds. With Cena. Now. He weighs he weighs less than four hundred pounds now. Yeah. With Cena, <laughs> losing a shit ton of weight. Mm. And obviously his hard earned weight loss has gained him the right to be a Badass again, mm, definitely. and win something for I'm, a change. I'm not, I'm not sure about the fact that his head's on upside down. <laughs> no, <laughs> but uh, it's okay. Yeah, oh yeah. But no, that that match was okay. I actually watched most of that. I yeah. just flipped in and out of Facebook, mm. um, mainly but, because okay. of what I'd seen in the match previous on Facebook. But yeah, um, yeah. but I say uh, Cesaro, Cesaro beat Jinder and Big Show beat Rusev, so they didn't get much out of that. Um, anyway, the Universal title match. Kevin mm. Owens and Goldberg. Yep. Um, you were right on one thing. Uh, Kevin Owens did get out of the ring. Mm. Uh, so I bet you were shitting yourself slightly, but obviously you didn't hear the bell ring. No. So you were kind of shitting yourself and you were kind of going, ooh. What happened was, <laughs> so I was here. I have a phone at the ready. On with stopwatch. stopwatch yep. on. I, I have mine ready. And I actually pressed it, thinking the bell went off. Aye. Then realised it didn't go off and stopped it. And my, I knew before because when the entrance music was going on, I knew there was only ten minutes left of the pay per view. Yeah. I was trying to work out what my odds were. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> this isn't looking good. This is ten minutes here. This isn't good at all. <laughs> and then the longer he spent walking around, and then got in the ring, and I was like, no, no, no. And they dropped back out. I was like. <laughs> And then the next minute, uh, Jericho's music hits when he's ready to fight. Jericho's music yes. hits. Jericho comes out, stands at the top of the ramp, bell rings. Yep. Spear, jackhammer, one, two, three, 22, yeah. min- uh, 22 seconds. We both got 22 seconds. We yeah. both got 22 seconds on that. So unfortunately, no one's going to see Dan not, not, not back a hot sauce. Not this time, bitches. <laughs> you know, I like the text that you actually sent me. It went, one, two, three, I'm clear. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was relieved. I feel a little do you know what inside I feel a little bit downhearted that I'm not doing it. And there there was part of me that was nearly gonna do it just for the shits and gigs, but that ruins the credibility yeah. of doing that bet in the first place. I have so to admit, it is just proved just how unstoppable Goldberg really is. Mm-hmm. And he's As... and he is now the second oldest person to hold the title. That's no, true. Uh, the oldest person being Vince, obviously. Um, 
but yeah, it, it just, I didn't want to win, really. It was good. It's it's good how, you know, uh, with Goldberg, you can only do it with Goldberg. You couldn't even do it with Brock. No. You can do a 22 second match and no one goes, oh, that was quick. Yeah. It, they loved the fact it was quick. Yeah. It, um, and yeah, I mean, as we said, there was no way it should have gone over seventy-three seconds or no. whatever. That, and it didn't, so that's good. I mean, when, when I when I look back at some of the tweets, I mean, someone put uh, congratulations, Goldberg, for one hundred seconds. I was like, hey, one hundred seconds, one uh, one hundred eight seconds. What? That Someone's was... timing the whole bloody yeah. thing up. I say you only time it from bell to bell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's when the match happens. Yeah. Even the commentary got it right this time and said the match hasn't even started yet. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, so Goldberg is going into WrestleMania as Universal Champion. He will be facing Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Yes, and have we seen the most latest between them two? Yes, he got uh, Goldberg got f 5 <laughs> He did! <laughs> but he wouldn't handshake Brock after he was called a little bitch. Yeah. Um, or Brock's little bitch. Brock's little bitch by Paul Heyman, yeah. And uh, I like how Paul was standing behind Goldberg at the time when he said that. Yeah. Oh, as always, Paul Heyman, the man, just could use a mic like gold. Oh. I mean, if if um, <clears throat> if no one has ever seen any of the promos from ECW, all them promos that all the ECW guys done were directed well, Paul, by Paul Heyman. And I say you give that man a mic, and it's just, just beauty comes out. The moment he, the moment he walks away from WWE, he's a Hall of Famer instantly. Oh, yeah, yeah, instantly, definitely. I mean, um, but I mean, this is this is um, the one thing that um, I was thinking about the other day. Not a lot of people give Paul credit for what he's done. No. For a start, Paul created, obviously you know this, he created the Dudley Boys. Um, yeah. Or he created the whole Dudley family, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and he cre- obviously he created um, the, the character of Tommy Dreamer, Sandman. Um, obviously he made Brock Lesnar what he is now, he made CM Punk what he is now, apart from in the cage because he's useless. Yep. Um, the man's just a genius. He's a he's a, nut, he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a he's a little midget genius. And we highly recommend watching the documentary on the network as well, or you can buy it on oh, DVD. I think. Yeah. Um, Paul Heyman's. Uh, 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 is it my name is uh, Paul Heyman? La- ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, People should watch that. That's a good documentary yeah. as well. Um, also, as well, the um, untold story of ECW as well. Yeah. Uh, which involves Paul Heyman. Tommy Dreamer, uh, Rob Van Dam, uh, the Dudleys, and Taz. Uh, I think it had Rob Van Dam in it. No, I've got that wrong. No, it's just to- Tommy Dreamer, Dudley Boys, and, and Taz. That's a, a, that was a good one as well. Mm. Um, we've had today has been an announcement for the latest inductee, the Hall of yep. Fame, uh, Ravishing Rick Rude. I actually forgot about Rick Rude. <laughs> I, do you know what? I only, only, I would. Do you know what? If I didn't play um, 2K, I could completely forget about him. It's only because he's on the game, and I occasionally like to see his entrance because his entrance was ridiculously over the top. Yeah, um, yeah fair enough. Mm. It's it's another one of those where I'm like, fair enough. Yeah. The man, the man worked hard in his time, mm. so why shouldn't he? Well, exactly. I mean, um, it wasn't just obviously his time in the ring and things like that. I mean, he was um, he was part of the original DX as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he played, I think, like Shawn, Shawn Michaels and Triple H's uh, secondary bodyguard because obviously their main bodyguard was um, Gina. And you've stopped. Uh, what's happened to Dan? <laughs> We've lost Dan. We shall, bring him, we shall ring him back. <laughs> we lost him. Here he is, he's 
back. Oh, hang on. You're on your phone. I'm, I'm on the phone. He's on the phone. What happened there then? Uh, so basically, guys, you have a look at the laptop. Oh dear. It's, a it's actually loading again. <laughs> so, um, apologies. So, for, that, for now, we're going to speak to him in vertical mode. <laughs> Just beats me in vertical mode. Thing or is, if I do that, does that help? Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's spot on. There you go. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, that's actually better quality than your laptop. Windows <laughs> <laughs> of a Samsung Galaxy phone. <laughs> <laughs> and a shit webcam on a laptop. And a shit webcam. Um, but yeah, um, as I say, it was like his, basically like his, he was like DX's secondary bodyguard because obviously he had China as well, didn't they? But, um, but though, I would say good congratulations to him as well for making that. Um, yeah. Anything else? There's nothing else has happened since. No. We're um, pretty much set now. Um, hang on, let me just... Uh, let me just have a look at something. Open that. Bum, 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 bum. Talk about yourselves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna just gonna have a look to see if there's been any other matches confirmed for Mania yet. Oh, here we go. Right. Um, obviously, they still haven't. Oh, well, it's gonna be now for the WWE title. It's either gonna be Brett. Well, it's gonna be Ray Wyatt versus either AJ Styles or Randy Orton. Now. Yeah. Because the match. Um, because Randy has. Basically turned on Ray because Bray because he burnt down <laughs> burnt down their spot. Yep, which was good of him. Um, obviously Goldberg and Paul uh, Goldberg and Paul Heyman match. <laughs> Goldberg, <laughs> Maybe one day, mate, yeah. but not now. Goldberg and Brock Lesnar match has now been switched to uh, for the Universal Title. Um, yep. There is going to be for the United States Title. It's going to be Jericho versus Owens. The United States title, that would be good. And for the Raw Women's title, it's going to be a triple threat match. Bailey versus Charlotte versus Sasha. Mm hmm. Which would be interesting, hopefully, with the whole Bailey Sasha being best buds for life. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, it's talk, uh, talking about here about uh, there's a, um, a possibility that it's obviously going to be Reigns versus Taker yeah. as well at Mania. Um, da, 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 um, what is it? Uh, this is talking about the Raw Tag Team titles. Obviously, Gallows and Anderson's retained their titles at Fastlane. Following that on Raw, in a rematch, Cesaro and Sheamus got involved, costing Enzo and Cass their titles. Later on, General Manager Mick Foley announced that Cesaro and Sheamus would face Enzo and Cass on March 13th episode of Raw. And the winners would go on to challenge Gallows and Anderson for the titles at Mania. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I think we're pretty much set for Mania. We are. Um, Dan's going to let us know if he's uh, watching it live. Watching it live with us, which will be a good laugh, I think. Because uh, it will if it happens. Yeah. We hope. Yeah, um, because there, there will be a few drinks involved as well. Uh, well, my end anyway. <laughs> I don't know, I think oh no! Know. If I if I'm there live, it's going to happen. Yeah. Oh yes. Um, so it, it should be it should be good. It should be good. Yeah. Um, I think I've got anything else to say. I I think I'm done. I think you're done. Yeah. I think I am done. Yeah. So. Uh, I will be back. I want to do another stream, hopefully either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, don't know what we're going to do yet. I haven't got a clue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I just turned up with volume on me and we had to oh, that scared the shit out of me then. <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to do a stream. I think I might finish off Stick of Truth finally. Do you know what I was going to say? Why don't you give South Park a go? Yeah, cause... I think I might finish off Stick of Truth because uh, uh, there was a lot of people that really enjoyed that stream, and uh, obviously with the new one coming out as well. 
people want to start looking at the old game before they because obviously you get this, you get that one free as well, don't you? Yep. If you free ordered it as well, uh, or if you buy the gold version, you get it for free. So a lot of yep. people want to see what it's like. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you, Dan. Thank you, James. And I shall shut this up because it's annoying me. Go away. <laughs> Um, and we shall see you. Let me see ya. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.